Hello everyone, I Rohit Runwal on behalf of Mag Learning welcome you all to Coding Ninja, a series of videos that will help you all to learn coding from basics to advanced. Consider this series as your preparation partner to understand A to Z of programming. This will help you all to get your first dream job and enter the IT world. So let us begin and make a difference. Friends, steps involved in learning C are similar to the steps that we have learned our basic English language. First, during learning English, we have studied the basic alphabets. We all know when the alphabets when combined together makes words and when these words combine together it forms sentences. A group of sentences makes a paragraph. Similar to this, a C program is written. The basic component of any C program is the alphabets, digits and special symbols. When these combine together forms constants, variables and keywords. When these are combined together, it forms instructions and a group of instruction makes a program. So I hope you understand the basic steps involved in making a C program. Now let us see the hello world program with which every programmer starts his programming journey. Friends, now let us see the first C program and understand it line by line. First comes hash include stdio.h. Here, hash include is known as a preprocessor. It initializes the environment of the program and links the program with the header files that are required. Here, the stdio is a library where the printf function is defined. Before using this function, we have to include a header file .h. Next comes the main function. Main function is an entry point to the program. The curly bracket will determine the beginning of the program. Then comes the printf function. Printf is used for generating the output. Statements inside the brackets will determine what the function does when executed. Slash n is a sequence. It will pass a new line character. Anything printed next will be printed on the new line. Every statement should end with a semicolon. Next comes a return 0 statement. This statement will return a value 0 when the program is executed right. This is a guarantee that your program has executed correct. Next comes the closing bracket. This determines the end of your program. This will terminate the main function. Now let us revise the C program. First comes the hash include sti.h which will include the header file. Then comes the main function which is the beginning of the program. Curly bracket to begin the program. Then comes the printf function which will put an output on the screen. The statements inside the bracket will be printed as it is followed by a slash and sequence which will pass a new line character and this is followed by a semicolon. Then comes the return 0 statement which will return a value 0 to the calling function. Lastly comes the closing bracket which will terminate the main function. After going through the first C program, let us together execute the first program on, a, on an online compiler and check the final output. Friends, to execute and compile a program, we are going to use an online website called as onlinegdp.com. This is an online compiler and debugger tool for C and C++ languages. I have copied my hello world program here and now let us try to run the program. Now you can see the program has compiled and it has displayed an output hello world which was in the printf function. The same has been displayed here. It also says program finish with exit code 0. This means a program has executed correctly line by line and displayed the output as it is. So successfully we have run and compiled a first C program hello world. Friends hope you loved and enjoyed the first hello world program. This program will help you to gain interest in programming and learn programming from very basic to advanced with our Coding Ninja video series. So stay tuned with us. Happy learning 
and make a difference thank you